Hello guys, um, this is the um, Southern Hellenist. I'm back with another video. So um, I did a photo of this on um, on Celebrate Hellenic Altars and I'm actually going to post it on that group as well. But I wanted to um, show you guys my new updated Hellenic um, altar and... Before you ask about this right here, um, <laughs> I actually ended up using it to um, hammer some uh, thumbnails, thumb push pins into the wall. Um, I use it for cutting boxes and other stuff. Um, and that's what I mainly use it for than anything else. So just get that out of the way. Want to know what that is, why that's there and all that. But uh <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. So, um, as uh, with this video on YouTube as well as on um, Facebook, I will give the seller's name where I got these prints at because I know that uh, I really love them a lot. And I've got like, I've got some Egyptian ones back there, and I did buy a couple of the Norse ones. Um, but I I don't actually use the Norse ones um, at all. I just think they're pretty and I wanted them. So that's what you do when you find out find something that's pretty. You want it. Um But yeah, but so we're gonna focus on my altars. Um I got two of them. Uh this is my main altar, which changes uh when uh March comes around, I will actually be changing that up with his Festus uh, and putting his statue and everything. So here it goes. Okay, so this is uh, Hestia. Um, a guy on Celebrating Pagan Altars, Celebrating Hellenic Altars said that it was pink. Uh, it is actually red. And yes, I did something weird freaky to her eyes. Um, they did sell larger Demeter. I'm uh, sorry, not large, large, sorry, not Demeter. Oh, my lords. I need a freaking break. Uh, a larger, um, Hestia. And when I bought the statues, I thought these were the larger ones. The larger ones, I would have been able to do a lot more detailed work. But unfortunately, um, I didn't. Um, I will be, um, get another, um, Hestia. If anybody wants to know, so that is red, not pink. All right, so here is my uh, Athena print. She actually has two of them. Uh, one of them is this one. I really do like this one better than the other one because it actually shows Athens in the background. Um, not painted like the columns are painted or anything like that, but yeah. So there. Um. Here's my statue of Athena. <clears throat> um, no, I do not have her painted. Uh, she is sitting on the Literary Witches Oracle, which is basically an oracle deck that uh, has all the um, like all the female authors of the Victorian era, which I thought was really cool because. Um, because I'm introduced to a lot of authors I've never heard of before, and I really do want to get their books. But yeah, so this is my section to Athena. Um, I've got a Justice Candle burning. Um, yeah, so you see that one. Um, I like this blue candle, light blue. It's pretty. So, yeah. I know some people might comment and say, Oh, that's not Hellenic, the Justice Candle, but it is my altar, my space, my rules. Over here is my print for the goddess Aphrodite. We are in the month of February, and February is Aphrodite's month with all the love and everything going on. All right, so before I continue, I want to say something. I have learned a lot about weight. <laughs> I have. So I actually had both of these on the wall and apparently I chose the wrong section of the wall 
and she went down. It didn't crack the glass, but it cracked the frame. And so I attempted to actually glue the frame back together and it didn't work. So I actually used the pressure of it to at least get it back together at some point. But here is Aphrodite. And down here is her statue. Um, there is a seller on Etsy called Hades Garden. And she sells these offering candles. So I bought one. This is for Aphrodite. So, um, I do plan to buy another one. And I've got rose incense burning. And I've got a pink candle as well. Uh, this is from Yankee Candle. I can't turn around because the container's hot. But um, it's uh, supposed to be some kind of like smoothie, daiquiri type of thing. All right, over here is my shrine to Hecate, or Ikati. This is her print. Um, oh, that's sad. Christopher Plummer just passed away. Sad. So, yeah, here's Hecate. I really do like this print. It is the only one only form of Hecate that she has. Here's the dogs. Dog. I think so dog. Yeah. Here's the key. And, um, for the person who want to know what the key means, I'm actually going to look that up. Because I don't remember off the bat. And here is her statue. Um, her candle from the same company or the same seller. Uh, setting on the Modern Witch Tarot deck, which is a really nice deck. Um, there's the deck itself. I got some uh, Greek Oracle um, that I made myself. And I'm burning some um, Aquarius incense. And I got some stones. So, you know, all the, all the stuff that you would sort of associate with Hecate or Ikati. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys it, um, all my little area as it is now. Um, I really do hope my smoke detector doesn't go off. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, may you be happy, healthy, most importantly, be safe, and hail to the gods. Bye.